this is Bridget, and tonight I'm going to talk to you about how to halter your horse with a rope halter. And a rope halter is a little bit different than your traditional web halters. And uh, when I first got the rope halter, and it came in its little bag, it was all kind of, you know, put together like this. And I thought, well, it didn't have the rope, of course. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me how in the heck to put that halter on because it kind of comes just like this. So for those of you that are um, trying the rope halter for the first time, I'll go through um, how to properly put it on your horse. Rope halters come in all different sizes. This particular one is an Arabian um, for an Arabian horse that I'm taking care of. And then I have a regular horse size. You can also get them um, in a draft size as well. The type of material that the rope halter is made of is very important for the comfort of the horse. So you could um, private message me if you want to find out about the type of um, material that I use on the rope halters for my horses. It's actually a yachting um, material that's um, hand braided. A couple other things when you're looking at a rope halter as well is uh, the knots that are actually on the rope halter, the size of those as well as the size of the rope halter itself. Um, the two knots that sit on the horse's face sit on two very um, sensitive bones and pieces of the face and so you want to be really careful about the type of knots that you're using on your horse's face. If not used properly this can actually be pretty severe to a horse. And then there's another knot that sits back in the throat latch area and then a knot that's at the bottom that um, clips, that's below the clip that goes on to your, your uh, lead rope. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to put this on. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put the rope halter on. Okay, so what you want to do is take your lead rope off. And what you want to do to uh, just make things easier is you want to take the part with the little loop and you're going to put that on the left and the part with the long and is going to actually go under the horse's head like this instead of a lot of people flip their halters over the horse's head you're actually going to put it under the horse's head and then gently um, adjust and then you're going to take the top part put it through the loop and this is the most important part you're going to take and you're going to wrap it around itself between the loops You don't want to do the knot above the loop because it actually can bind on itself and you'll need a knot to get it undone. It also can come loose up there as well. So you want to do it between the two knots like this. So I'll go ahead and show you that again if you can see from here. So you want to go ahead and go like this, then go underneath itself and through itself like that. So hopefully that made sense to you. If you have any questions, you can let me know.